Today we're going to look at the four steps for close reading. The active reading process consists of four steps. First, notice, literally, what do you see on the paper, in the image, or on the screen? The next step is to signify and apply meaning to what you've already noticed. Third, configure your notices into patterns. And finally, create a coherence and figure out what exactly your notices are trying to tell you. Now we're gonna take a look at each step in a little bit more depth. Step one is to notice. What do you see when you read or when you look at an image or watch a film? The first thing to pay attention to are the words, phrases, sentences, and paragraphs in a reading. In an image, these might be colors and shapes, or in a film, it might be shots or cuts or lighting. Once you've noticed, you want to consider what is your response to what you've noticed. It maybe it reminds you of something, it makes you feel something, or it makes you realize something. When you're annotating a text, this is the highlight stage. All you're doing in this stage is highlighting anything that you see that you think could possibly be important later. Step two is to signify. This is where you take your notices and decide what significance each one has. You're looking at what do your notices actually mean. You might consider what stands out the most to create meaning within the text. And this is where you wanna start commenting on your notices. So once you've highlighted things, then you go back and say, okay, what do I think about each one? Try writing a couple of comments to make sure that you remember what you're thinking as you read. The third step is to configure. This is where you're looking for patterns within the text. Does the author use specific rhetorical strategies or in a film, do they use specific shots again and again to create a pattern that you might pay attention to? Make sure that you're looking at how the patterns might connect to a topic, theme, or content in your piece. The fourth step is to create a coherence. This is where you apply meaning to the text and really look at what do the patterns that you've noticed suggest about life. This is where everything comes together and you wanna focus on what is the theme or the author's purpose of the reading, image, or film. An inferential conclusion that will lead you to the formation of a thesis for the writing process is your goal here. You wanna to come together and really figure out what is the author trying to tell you? Now we're gonna do one together. Let's take a look at the image on the next slide and see if we can get through the four steps of close reading. Step one is to notice. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just pay attention to what I see and highlight some things in the image. So the first thing I see is this grumpy cat and his eyes are looking at somebody in the distance and he's clearly not happy. Um, I see the text up at the top and on the bottom. Um, I have some background of flowers, so it looks like maybe the cat is outside and is leaning on a fence post. So I see a lot of different things, but are they actually all significant? Now I'm gonna go back and look at what I need to pay attention to that might have some significance in the meeting. So the first part, let's go back to the eyes. Uh, the cat is really angry, so that might have to do with an emotion, some sort of anger there. Um, looking at the text where it says, like a good neighbor, stay over there. Okay, that reminds me of something, so that might have some significance later. Looking at the post that he's leaning on in the background, I don't necessarily think that they mean anything. He's outside, so okay, maybe the cat has escaped somewhere, but they don't really show anything that might um, imply meaning. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to configure. So I have to take what I have noticed and applied significance to, and I'm going to comment on them. So uh, this is the grumpy cat, I am making, I can make a connection to other memes that I've seen. Um, and the like a good neighbor stay over there, it reminds me of that State Farm commercial. So I can uh, configure this into an illusion where we are referencing something outside the text. In this case, the State Farm commercial. 
So now based on all of these things, I can conclude, I can create a coherence that uh, the grumpy cat, this meme is meant to be sort of funny, make that allusion to the state farm commercial, but also to convey the idea that people need to stay away from each other and social distance in the time of COVID. Now that you've reviewed the four steps of close reading, it's important to remember that anytime you're reading something, you're actively engaging your brain. And anytime you want to become an expert in something, you have to practice it. So throughout your ninth grade year, you're gonna practice this a lot and really get into each of the four steps and making sure that you apply each of the four steps to everything that you read. In doing so, you'll learn to annotate everything effectively. And by annotating, we're talking about putting comments on the page, either of an image, a video, a reading, anything that you're looking at, you should always, always be commenting on so that you remember all of the things that you're thinking and responding. <laughs> Amy? Yo. <laughs> you okay? Oh, sure. <laughs> While you were reading. I was. Now I'm thinking about what I read. <laughs> like Amy says, it's important to take a few minutes to think about what you've read after you've read it. Pause and consider, do you understand what you are reading? Do you understand what you are what the author is trying to convey. And can you distill that into a short message to explain to a friend? Now it's your turn. Take a few minutes on each of the next slides and create a notice, signify, configure, coherence for each one. <laughs> 